going to have our prayer time, and we're going to turn to 909. So, when upon life's billows you are tempted to when you are discouraged, thinking all is lost, count many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord meant. Count your blessings. I think it's fair to say that most of us come across those times when we become discouraged, when we're thinking that all is lost. And it's in those times that the songwriter says, well, count your blessings. Take a moment to stop. Just, just pause and, and, and see how God has blessed you. How God has provided for you. How God has given you so much. And certainly in this land in which we live, what can we say except we're a, an abundantly blessed people. Today, you know, you have probably three meals today. And certainly if you didn't have three, you, you decided to probably lose a little bit or something or another. But you, you most likely had two good, fairly solid meals at least. And yet thousands, thousands, I mean it's, 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 it's unbelievable to think of the numbers that are starving, literally starving. We've got a fine place to live. Nice cozy, warm, and, and all of these things, and yet thousands without anything over their heads. Blessed people, yes indeed. Well, I'm going to ask that we sing verses 1 and 2, and then I'm going to share in a prayer with you. But we do remember that there are those who are laid aside, and not going to uh, go into any, any list. But uh, as they come to your mind, you bring them to the throne of God. And you ask God's blessing upon them in their difficult circumstances. Uh, but let's sing verses 1 and 2.
But Lord, we praise you and thank you because he was without sin. And therefore, he became the perfect sacrifice. The one who could die on that old cross. That each one of us may have a relationship with you. So Lord, we thank you for the great plan of salvation. We thank you that death did not defeat him. He was victorious. He rose from the dead. And we believe today he descended to be with you and to intercede for each of us. And so, Lord, we just praise you and thank you from the depths of our heart because we can have that joy and that peace and that right relationship with you and we can walk and talk with you day by day. And we believe, Lord, that you will always be there to strengthen us and to uplift us and to encourage us. And so, it's no one else worthy of praise only you. Lord, thank you for those people who have gathered tonight we pray that each one that has gathered in will sense your presence. will know that you are a God worthy of all worship and all praise. And so each one of us will be challenged to draw closer to you, to live the way you want us to live. Bless us now and guide this meeting, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's stand together and sing uh, the third verse of the chorus again, please. Mm -hmm. 